Hey guys, today I wanted to show you guys how I have my audio set up, basically how I run it to OBS, how I run the soundboard, and how you can run the soundboard through your mic so that way other people during games and stuff like that can hear your soundboard. Uh, if you guys would like to set a soundboard up, I did a previous video on that. I'll link that down in the description. I'll also link the programs that you need. You're going to need two things. You're going to need voice meter and you're going to need VB audio cable. Um, it's a really easy setup. Just go ahead and hit next on everything. You really don't need to mess with any settings as you're setting it up. But once you get to this screen and have voice meter up, uh, the first thing you want to do is go over here to menu, hit run on Windows startup and hit system tray and restart audio engine. Uh, that's just in case uh, something gets messed up somewhere along the line. You want it to restart uh, your audio engine. You don't want it to completely cut out, especially while you're streaming or anything like that. Um, you also want it to run on Windows Startup because once you set it up, you don't want to have to mess with it every single time. You don't want to have voice meter not running and then you have to reconfigure all your system settings. You just want to set it up and have it ready to go. All right, and then you guys will notice over here where it says virtual input. Virtual input, that is your desktop audio. So anything that is playing on your desktop, that is what's going to be playing out of that. Hardware input number one, I have this set as my microphone. You're going to click this number one. You're going to find your audio interface. For me, the MME drivers work the best. I've experimented around a little bit, but uh, go ahead and try the other codecs and see if they work better for you. But for me, like I said, MME works best. Sorry if it's a little confusing. I have a lot of audio gear on this computer. All right, so then you're going to go over here to hardware input two. You're going to click on that and you're going to go down and you're going to have yours set to cable output VB audio virtual. And the reason why is because this is how the soundboard is going to come out and interact with this software right here. Now, virtual input, you can leave that alone. That's just going to be your desktop audio. Uh, you can tweak the bass, mids, and highs if you really want to. I personally haven't messed with any of that. All right, now let's go over the rest of the setup. My mic is set to mono. Yours will vary. If your mic is a stereo microphone, you don't have to have yours set to mono. Um, if it's not a stereo microphone, you're going to have to have it set to mono. If not, it's only going to be coming out of one of the channels. And then you'll see here, I have this on B. You will see that this comes out as my mic. Now, if I go over here to this setting, properties, and s pull this down, I have voice meter output VB audio. Now that is taking this virtual output. So virtual output B is going straight out into the mic. So that is how the mic is set up. And then what I also have going out with the mic is the soundboard. So you'll see when I play a sound, you'll see that triggers over here. That goes out VB audio B and that'll come in the mic section. And then let me pull up a file real quick. All right. And then right here, I pulled up one of my songs so that way I can go ahead and play it and not have to worry about copyright issues, but you'll see, uh, let me find a good spot for this. I uh, will put this over here. Uh, you'll see when I click this, it's playing out through virtual input. So that is your desktop audio. Now I have that running through A, which is my main out. But you'll see as that plays over on the OBS meters, desktop audio is this one right here. And I have that set to voice meter input. So it's kind of weird they have everything labeled, but all you need to know is your voice meter input is your main out and then your voice meter output is your virtual out it's kind of weird how they label that don't ask me why they did that i really think they should fix that but anyways that's what you want so all right now if you're playing a game and you want your soundboard and your mic to be on the same track you're going to want this one also you're going to want voice meter output you're not going to go out through your interface or whatever else you have you want to do voice meter output because when you do that in the game, that's going to give you this out right here. And this out is mixed with your microphone and your soundboard. So anything you have is voice meter output. That should be your microphone and your soundboard mixed together. Now, the only pitfall of this setup that's kind of weird is when I play these sounds right now, I cannot hear them in my headphones. If I tried to make them go over to A and then play them, I can hear them because then they're going out of B and they're going out of A. But when you do that, you end up having echoing issues with desktop audio and all kinds of other stuff. So I try to keep them separated. I try to think as the B channel as virtual out, that is my mic. That is my new microphone output. I put that on everything that I want my mic into. So Discord, anything like that. I want that to be on that output right there. Everything else as far as desktop sounds, I want going out of this main output, which is the input like we previously talked about. I know it's really confusing. Um, if you have any problems, just rewatch the video. You'll kind of get it. Uh, it takes a little bit to get used to their terminology. I think it's kind of dumb, but it is how it is. Um, 
Now, the other thing that I do for my streams is I actually go over here, click Advanced Audio Properties. Let me go ahead and drag this down. And I set my mic to monitor only mute output. Now you'll see this does some strange things. This makes it to where the mic and desktop, you see both of those reading at the same time. They're not going out to the stream at the same time. Now the reason why I do this is because I have effects and stuff like that on my OBS. So that way I can do like channel point rewards and stuff like that. Like if I want to change my voice low, I can do my voice low and it'll record all that. It'll record it without that, but I can't hear on my headphones when that triggers. I need to know when that triggers so that way I can do, you know, like funny stuff if I know the voice is like high and I'm not paying attention to the chat. I can hear the audio input. You know, like if I have my low voice, I can do like funny stuff, kind of play into it a little bit. But that's just what my setup is like. And because I do that, I can also, when I play the sounds, I can hear them through my headphones in the stream. Like I said, I know it's really confusing. If you guys have any questions, just go ahead and leave them down in the comments down below. I'm normally pretty good at responding to comments. Uh, let me know if you guys have any trouble and I'll try to walk you through it. But yeah, other than that, I stream every Tuesday and Thursday over on Twitch at 8 p.m. EST. Uh, you guys should come join my Discord. Uh, we hang out over there a lot. Subscribe if you like my content on YouTube and I will see you guys later.